Kings at 29, 17, and 7. Second place in the Pacific, taking on the Boston Bruins. And tonight's puck drop is brought to you by Coastline Auto. Before the game, about how quietly good he's been over the last little while. Here's Victor Arvidsson stashing the puck to the corner. Trevor Moore receives a bit of a cross check from Matt Grizzlick. And the Bruins carry this puck down. Here's Jake DeBrusque over the line. A Rashad the dribbles through quick and in. 61 seconds into the game, and Jake DeBrusque, his fifth goal in the last five games for Boston. They have an early lead. And the way this one goes in, obviously, Jonathan Quick's going to be upset with himself. It's a wrist shot from on the angle. Looks like it goes between the legs, and it flutters. There's no question it has a knuckleball effect, but seven hole, it sneaks home, all those things. Now, it's a pickup for the Bruins, obviously, because they get the first goal of the game. I think because the Kings, and you do see it was touched there. There was a deflection off a Kings defender. DeBrusk plays it in. You mentioned the trade he had asked for. Not playing like a guy who is just riding it out. Got put on the top line for a showcase, and he's making the most of it. And he said the other day. Oh, turnover. DeBrusk scores! Off of quick again. And in. Yeah, but this one doesn't go to the goaltender. No. This is a shot right from the middle of the slot after a clear cut turnover to the middle. So you try to go through the middle, you have to be 100% sure. Looked like Deneau did not spot that. Looked like Anderson did not spot it. And again, it goes off the glove. But in that situation, that's something that has to be taken care of. And then we, I categorize goals. You know, the first one is a bad goal. This one here is. Who knows? Maybe Boston. There we go. Brendan Lemieux and Trent Frederick. Lemieux gets rid of an elbow pad, I think, so something less to grab on for Frederick. Frederick goes with the grab hand jabs. Then he goes with the big boys. Lemieux comes back himself over the top. We'll see if anything comes underneath here. Both guys willing. Now, again, Lemieux doesn't have a helmet. Frederick still does. And that is a spirited boat. Oh, there's the one over top. I, I think that Pepe was looking to go underneath at one point. And you can see how at the end, Frederick keeps going over the top, but he can't get to the head. He misses. He comes up short just about every time. And the Bruins retake possession. McAvoy has room to step up. McAvoy to the back. No second cross. Shot doesn't get through. Wraparound chance. McAvoy out front. Quick kicked it out twice. How did he? this point because the Bruins had numerous chances from different angles. You'll see LA behind Penalty, the net to the 46. front. One right there, maybe Bruins. This one right there. A Jonathan Quick's back is to the puck, and he found a way to get... Watch, it's coming up here. He, he does spot it, and he gets... He did spot... It's McAvoy. Power play is up. Lazat out of the box, and he makes a play on oh. Riley, and then Quick makes an outstanding save. Off the bid, in tight from Marchand. Because Puck's kind of bouncing off back of the boards. He's got to get across. Watch the arm here. Thing, he, go, oh, he picks it from behind his ear almost. But he makes sure he keeps his eye on it. Marchand doesn't necessarily get a lot on it. Jonathan's down already, so he has to windmill the arm to make the save. Yeah, might have went in. He had the angle. The entire hockey world paused to, to watch and reflect on that with great admiration and awe of Willie and what he's done for the hockey world. Shot front, Bergeron, he scores! Off a deflection into the upper corner of the net. If it's DeBrusque, he has a hat trick. He's got a hat trick. And that's something, it's, it's always the most difficult play to overrule. And from that look, because, again, it's very difficult. Down low, this will give you a better chance. Now you're getting closer and closer and closer. Toronto will be looking at this. But since the Kings score, Pasternak. Wow. 29th of the year for David Pasternak. And it's 4-0 Boston, just five seconds into their power play. This is just an example, Alex, of what I was talking about. It's not, you know, at the hash marks, it's not at the dots. It's well above the circles. 
So you're concerned with a screen? Looks like it wasn't a screen, really. You know what it is? It, it's it's the movement. Is there a read? There's a swing at the puck. Is Bergeron right there? Yeah. Yes, there is. That's what it is. To the tune of four goals. Matt Roy carries the puck ahead, and he's separated from the puck by McAvoy. Two on one for Boston. Hall scores. Taylor Hall makes it five nothing. The beneficiary of all of the line shifts we talked about. Poster Knox been moved on his line. The Kings try to enter. Look at the change by the Kings. And that's it. Mikey Anderson able to get back. But remember, the previous play was an icing. Not directly leading to this goal, but it was an icing. So then you want to get players off the ice. The Kings make a change. And one long pass beat the Kings. Sent the two-on-one going. And Hall takes the shot. Watch as he's looking, looking, looking. Finally looks at the net. And slides it. Tweeners against Jonathan Quick. Pops it off the wall. Brown for the point. Turns it over. And it's a breakaway for Brad Marchand. Marchand moves in. Save Peterson. Penalty coming up. Craig Smith for Grizzly. Smith, seam pass. Coil to the front, they score. Eric Halla was camped out in front of the net. And with one second remaining on the power play, it is 6-0. It's the puck here, so I'm interested to see if it's a milestone of some sort. So the entry is real solid. Then you'll see the Bruins zip it around. You go through the seam once, and yeah, you can see in front of the net. Watch Halla. Cross pass. He'll get to the inside of Bjornfoot. By Grizzly. Can't get it out. I follow loses another stick. Halla drops it off. Hall looking for the return pass, and Halla pockets it on the back door. Yeah, unfortunately, in the game that you know is lost, but you don't want to see these types of goals. In Canada, we have the salt and vinegar chips mostly, and <laughs> right now it's both of those at the same time. You can see the entry. Now, at the end, the Kings get enough men back, but there's the two-on-one developing. Not the first time, but the second. So the horn will sound on a route. A rare one at bat. These two teams will meet again one week from tonight. Jake DeBrusque with a hat trick.